Welcome to the Marvel Sports Worldwide Podcast, where we discuss and analyze your favorite Marvel sports. From JMR Marble League to all go-do tournaments, we'll make sure you never miss the action. All Marble Sports, all the time, right here on the MSW Podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Marvel Sports Worldwide Podcast. Ah, my name is Brendan. No, Waff? Where are you, Waff? You have to forget about the accident, Brendan. It wasn't your fault. Hey, Waff, we've done this 61 times. Where are you, buddy? Where's the... And I'm Commander Waff. Where's that? Please, Please Brendan. Brendan. Waff? Oh, Waff! Oh, he's not here because he's making some move into some other place in Texas. Uh, anyway, what's going on, everybody? It's the Marvel Podcast. You guys know what you're here for. We all know what you're here for, okay? Uh, I just wasted a minute right now pretending like Waff was here, but uh, that's okay. You know what? Waff is uh, getting a move today. He's moving somewhere. He's moving and living on his own or something like that. So um, I guess it's a lot of fun for him and a lot of work, too, because moving is um, quite a bit, of e- a bit of effort. But... um. He's making the move, and uh, he can't make it today. Uh, he can't roll in today and listen to my ricochet puns. Um, by the way, ricochet, if you don't get it, it's Rick O'Shea. That's the name of the announcer. And then it's like the word ricochet, because Rick- Marvel's ricochet, as you know. If they, they roll on the track, they ricochet off the barrier, they ricochet off each other. And then the name of the announcer is Rick O'Shea. Do you, do you understand? Because that... that, that always confuses Waff. If you listen to past stuff, he doesn't get it. He still doesn't get it. All right, he still doesn't get it. But he gets it now, maybe. He, I'll tell him to listen to this episode. We'll see if he can figure it out after he listens to this episode. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, guys, um, what am I feeling today? That's that's the question. You guys, all the people who listen are probably wondering, what is this guy feeling? Because so much has happened Marble Sports related. All right, so much has happened. We had the end of the Marble League, number one. We had Sh- Marble Showdown. Okay, which is, by the way, I still think B-League is a better name. I really actually do. I really do. And let's not forget that the Marble Showdown had that, that just abhorrent event, the Black Hole Funnel. So that was, that was shit. That was crap. But everything else was good. Um, and also we have uh, the Marble League overall to talk about, and as well as next year's hosts, which um, I am knowing you guys know what teams I like now. So you, you must know that I'm ecstatic to know the hosts of next year's marble league. Um, and I'm glad that because of team galactic's performance this year, there is no host curse. That's all fake. So the crazy cat size, this is going to be fun next year. I don't know how they're going to theme it. Are they going to put some whiskers around? I bet it's just going to be the bland old blue and white because even for the galactic, they couldn't even, they couldn't even make it white and purple. They had, they kept it blue and white, but you know what? That's okay. Um, lot, lots to think about, lots to, uh, react about, um, and I don't have Waff to do it with. This is a shame, and which means we will re-react with Waff next week. Um, the whole covering what happened in this week will take two weeks, um, because we will both cover, um, what happens. We will we'll both cover the end of the Marble League and the showdown this week with, um, uh, me and the guest I will be having on, um, and then, um, Waff and me will continue the conversation next week because we won't be able to cover it all tonight, and we just want to hear Waff's thoughts on it anyway um, next week. So, um, uh, one more announcement I do want to make. Uh, two more announcements. First of all, please go to the Marble Sports World by YouTube page. Just give it a subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the recent videos. We have some non-podcast videos up. We do two things, if you if you didn't already know. we First of all, we put the news up as a special segment in its own video if you just want to catch the news real quick. And we also put up the... Um, uh, we have a new like r- marble racing series. We just got done with the first event. The main event uh, went really well. Um, people enjoyed it. The audio quality finally is balanced out correctly, and it was just a lot of fun to comment on. Uh, I did the commentary. A lot of fun to watch. Um, it, based more on the uh, motocross, uh, MotoGP, uh, but in marble. So it's it, it's really exciting. So go check that out on the channel. Um, I'm glad to finally be getting some marble content out to you guys um, who just listened to me 
talk. I don't know why, but you do and you like it. So, I mean, I'll give you more content, right? And soon we'll be getting a top 10 video out once I finish planning that as well. So go check all that out. We also have a new editor for the podcast. JM has been serving us for... Man, since since like the end of last no, he's been like since like October of last year. So we almost got a full year. That he served us with no payment and you know a couple times he left here and there cuz he was busy and or and stuff, but he'd been serving us well for the for for a long time and he's been editing the podcast, doing it very well. He's been a great sport. He's guested on the show a couple times. And he's just he's just been a real awesome guy and 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 he's been great. I and I and I feel no uh, I am not upset at all that he decided he wanted to stop editing for us. I am just happy that he was there for the time he did. I'm grateful for the help he's given. He's a great guy. Um really really a good friend to have in Marvel Sports and I just I'm I'm really happy um for the for the whole time. Um I'm not, of course, happy that he left, but I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, really happy for when he was here, and and he's still with us. He's still in the server. He, I, I think maybe he listens to the podcast, but um, no, yeah, he, he, he was a great guy to get to know, um, and I'm glad, I'm glad that he was on the team, um, for for the time he was, and I wish him well. I wish him well in everything he does, uh, from now on, because he was, he was, he was just awesome. All right, irreplaceable. Even though we got a new editor, still irreplaceable. You can't replace his, um, his personality. So. Um, great guy. Um, big thanks to him. I'm sure Waff would echo my uh, thoughts here. Big thanks to him for all the help he's given us. And we do have a new editor in um, a couple of the longtime listeners of the show, Kaysen and S-Man, um, have uh, applied for the job and they both uh, technically got it. We got a main editor in Kaysen and a backup editor in, in S-Man so we can make sure the podcast always gets to you guys every week. They have uh, they are ready to edit. They are good at it, hopefully. Uh, they, I think they are. They, they know what they're doing. Um, probably know more than me. Okay, um, and I think it's just going to turn out great um, for the show. So um, the direction of the show. There you go. Direction of the show. Direction of the channel. And all my thoughts on the Marble League and its ending and and what's coming and all of that coming up next after the news. Johnny Marble. He's a little bit bummed, but hey, you can't knock second place, right? Take it away, Johnny Marble. Let's go to the news and hear what he has to say about the old Rangers. Sports fans, I am Johnny Marble, and as always, I'm coming to you for MSW. Now, we have a whole heap of news to come in, so let's get into it. Marble League 2020 has finally come to a close, but before we can get to the overall winner, we need to cover the results of the final events first. So, Event 15 was a new and improved version of Collision, with huge marbles and catapults adding to the chaos. The competition was fierce, and in the end, the Savage Beaters took first, followed by the Thunderbolts in second, and the Minty Maniacs in third. Now, before the Marble League 2020 champion could be crowned, Marble League Showdown commenced to determine which team to move on to the qualifiers for next year. Twelve teams competed in the Relay Race, the Halfpipe, the Black Hole Funnel, and the Sand Mogul. And in the end, the Cobalts claimed first, followed by the Jungle Jumpers in second, and the Chocolatiers in third. And the bottom four teams who will not be moving on are the Turtle Sliders, the Snowballs, the Limers, and the Jawbreakers. It's a shame they couldn't move on, but perhaps they'll do better in next year's showdown. And now, for the final event of Marble League 2020, the Marble Marathon. This was an intense 33 lap race and the Stardust Accelerator that would decide this year's champion. It was a really close race with many marble swapping positions throughout and in the end, Minty Fresh from the Minty Maniacs took first, Yellow from the Mellow Yellow took second, and the Red Eye from Crazy Cat's Eyes took third. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for! It was really up in the air for a while during the final race, but after 16 incredible events of competition, the Savage Beaters took the gold and became the very first repeat champions in Marble League history! An even closer battle was for Silver, as the O-Rangers 
managed to beat the Minch Maniacs, but only by one point. I'm sure the Maniacs are a little disappointed over that, but considering that they just came out of retirement, getting the bronze medal is still an incredible achievement, and they should still be proud of it. After the celebrations were done and the torch extinguished, the hosts for the Marble League 2021 were revealed, and they are... Crazy Cat's Eyes! Congratulations to them for receiving this honor, and we can't wait to see what the stadium will be like. Moving away from JMR now, the main event of the first event of Marble Cross, the Oakwood Triple Crown, has finally reached its conclusion. All of the marbles really gave it their all as they competed in three races, the sprint race, the lap race, and the timed race. But there can always only be one winner. And that is Marble Reef, followed by Lifesaver, who tied for first but lost out due to finishing one place below Reef in the final race. And the Thing in a close third. These marbles are showing a lot of promise, so let's see if they can keep it up in the events to come. And for our last piece of news, we have race number two of NASMARB, the Lightspeed 400. In a surprising turn of events, Quillo and Spitzer, the two marbles racing for MSW hosts, faced off in their very first heat. The race was very dangerous, as a Meraki's car broke open after Spitzer crashed into them. Fortunately, they made it out okay and just fine, but by the end of the heat, Spitzer wasn't able to move on. Quillo didn't do much better, however, as they were eliminated by Electro in their very next race. Looking at the final race, it wasn't even a contest, as Lemon Drizzle dominated the track, earning both the gold and the title of the first perfect run in NASMARP history, as they did not lose a single race. Bloodstorm came in second, followed by Jack Tato in third. So congratulations to these three racers, as this boosted them quite a bit in the overall standings, and we hope to see more of great racing from them in the future. Woohoo! That was a lot of work, guys, but hey, you stuck through it, I stuck through it, and for that, I'm proud of you. I've been Johnny Marble. You have been the best fans in the world. Let's kick it back and continue on with the podcast. All right, everybody, welcome back from the news. Thank you, Johnny Marble, for being the best Johnny Marble ever and uh, humbly talking about the O-Rangers with a good attitude because even though they didn't win, they did get second, and that is still an impressive finish for teams of these calibers. So today we have uh, no off, as you know from the intro, because you just listened to that. So uh, yeah, I need to say more on that. And uh, today we do have a guest, though. It's uh, Marble Guy and... S-Man, who's a longtime listener of the show. Say hello to everybody out there, Mr. S-Man. How's it going, everyone? And everyone says, it's going great, S-Man. It's going great. All right, thank you for guesting. Thank you. All right, that's what they said. That I hope that's what you guys me. were all saying over there. Um, anyways, uh, today, um, there's so much to talk about. I, I I don't even know where to process this. There's there's the Savage Speeders. And there's all the events from the because they put so many videos out. They were like, yeah, we don't want to have to do work in September. Let's put all the videos out now. Um and wow, it just, it just goes on and on. Um so we we're, we're going to probably begin by just doing talking about each of the individual individual events um and reacting to the Savage Speeders thing. So um, I mean, S-Man, I just want to start with you, bud. Uh, S-Man, tell me, what what are your thoughts on the end of this Marble League? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you just mad? Or what did you want? What did you, what did, are you happy with the results? Um, I, I don't like the Savage Speeders at all <laughs> as an O-Rangers fan. I just, I don't like them. But that being said, I do think that if there, there is no better team to win the marble league twice first you know i agree i agree and that's where that's where it comes for me i am also not a savage beaters fan. by the way to those bandwagon fans okay because i know i know there's a hundred there's more than a hundred of you guys out there by the way i'm just pointing at my wall right now there are there are many bandwagon fans that just immediately became Savage Beaters fans after event 16 of this Marble League. I, I, have, I have something for you. I have something for you. 
All right. Um, I listen. I listen to rap on SoundCloud sometimes, and there's there's a, there's a verse from one of the songs that I listen to that I really really like. It, it applies to this situation. So this is to all all you bandwagon fans out there that just became fans after after the Savage Beaters one. Um, <clears throat> this verse is from a song um, that I've listened that I, that I like. It goes like this. You was a hater, you a fan now. I see you waving, put your hands down. I see you waving, put your hands down. I see you waving, put your hands down. You was a hater, you a fan now. I see you waving, put your hands down. All right? Put your hands down. You're not a Savage Beaters fan. You're a bandwagon fan. You don't deserve to revel in that victory. Okay? So stop. All right? Go back to liking the freaking Jawbreakers. All right? Go back to liking the... Team Galactic, which, by the way, Greg mentioned this twice in the course of this Marble League. They get fifth all the time, so go back to liking them. All right, that's what you should do. That Listen to those words. Whoever, someone clipped that from a minute ago. All right, that's, that's what we say when uh, people say they like the Savage Beaters from now on, okay? Yes, man, tell me. Are you going to be a Savage? Are you a bandwagon fan? Are you a bandwagon fan? Hell no. Savage speeders can go die in a hole for all I care. Wow. They can roll right into a hole and never roll back out. Exactly. Um, so do you have a team besides the O-Rangers that you're really into, or um, uh, are you just an O-Rangers fan through and through? Um, well, the Jungle Jumpers are my number one. Oh, right. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I should I should know, too, because we've talked a lot. But... um. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, of course, we're going to get into Showdown, and you're going to be happy, and I'm going to be sad. You know why? You guys all know why I'm going to be sad, by the way. It's because of a specific citrus-flavored fruit, okay? we Citrus fruit, all right? That's why I'm going to be sad. You guys know. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so O-Rangers like your second? That's your second team? Yeah, O-Rangers are number two. Interesting, interesting. Isn't that a little bandwacky me, though? Because, like, O-Rangers are kind of, you know, they're... No, because I liked them prior to the 2017 season oh okay they were the okay. team so that were... i picked from the 2017 qualifiers you were a real one from the beginning right yeah like you were you were way you were there all right you were there when the savage beaters were getting their first win and you were like you know what those orange shaped marbles man i really i really just want to peel them and eat the nice orange slices on the inside um i hope you didn't say that sure uh, <laughs> let's go with that <laughs> That's what we'll go with. Um, anyways, to get to what I was going to uh, give an opinion on, too, um, I am fine with the Savage Beaters winning. I wanted them to win as soon as they were, as soon as Event 14 rolled around, huh? Rolled around. Uh, ricochet, Ricochet. Um, as soon as Event 14 came, I, I and the Savage Beaters were, were second place and within striking distance, I was like, okay, I really want the Savage Beaters to win here. And the reason why is that even though I'm not a Savage Beaters, Beaters fan myself, I, I'm not a fan of them. I am not a bandwagon fan. I'm not going to pretend to like them. My top three will always be Limers, Crazy Cat Size, and Miller Yellow, with O Rangers kind of dabbling in, underneath along with like Green Ducks too. I like them as well. Um, I want them to win. And, that, and that's just because there is something to the lore of marble sports. There is something about it where it's just really nice to have that team, that have that like Yankees and baseball type team. That's always first. First to win a Marble League, they were. First to win uh, Marbula One, they were. And I wanted them to be first to get two Marble League victories. Um, and this was a great season to do it. And, and I knew that if they didn't win, then the old Rangers would be the first to win two Marble League victories. And that would kind of steal the 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 firstness from the savage beaters and there's something to the lore of marble league that you want i want to be able to say the savage beaters are always first in the in the big things i mean they probably aren't first in everything there's probably like there's, there's probably other random teams that have other random little first but for the big first like winning the overalls i want the savage beaters to hold that title so i was just as soon as the uh, crazy cat sides were not any, unable to win and I mean, well, I mean, from event one, Mellow Yellow was like, "Nah, fuck this. I'm not doing this today. This, we're not doing this this year." Um, I mean, I was just like, "Okay, Savage Beaters, just just do it. Just take it. All right, just just be this, be that, be that first place team. Add to that lore because that lore is big now. Okay, you, that that is big lore now because now the Savage Beaters have been 
they're, they're the first. They're always the, the winners now. There is no situation. They are the by far the best Marble League team. Like The O-Rangers still can't even compare to the Savage Beaters currently. If, if the O-Rangers won um, the, the Marble League this year, you could have a good debate on which team was better, the Savage Beaters or the O-Rangers. I, I don't know. Um, S-Man, what do you think? If the O-Rangers won this year, who would have been the better team overall? Savage Beaters still or O-Rangers? I would have said the O Rangers because they basically dominated their way through the whole season. So, like, still overall, if you compare all the stats from all the years, you'd say the O Rangers with their two wins is better than the Savage Beaters with their three seconds, I guess. Um, yes. Interesting, and then that could have been a debate, and me and MFA or me and Waff would have just that could have been a whole episode, but um, and it might still be. We might play that one through for fun, but um, uh. Now that it happened, you, there is no debate. Savage Beaters are the best. I still think stats-wise, Savage Beaters are the better team, even if the O-Rangers get two wins, because, I mean, one, two, two, five, two is better than, like, not that. The O-Rangers didn't have that. They got two wins, but they also had some lower placements some years. So um, that's my thought on that, guys. Um, I'm happy that they won. It was overall a great Marble League. I just want to get that out there. I just want to put those words out there that overall I loved this year's Marble League because I'm going to have negatives later, that like little bits of negatives about certain things. Um, and and S-Man might too. I don't know. We're going to get into some of these events. But overall, this Marble League was a really good one for me. So I'm, 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 I loved it. Um, so when I talk about some of the more picky things, don't be like, oh my God, he hated it. No, overall amazing. Um, but there's probably like three big four three or four major problems that i saw that i that i hope would be fixed so but that being said guys um we're gonna jump right into the first event we're gonna do the usual rating out of 10 uh on the events and talk about them a little bit so uh esman esman we'll start with you you being the only other person here today with me um aquathlon event 14 give us your out of 10 rating and uh, talk about what you think about it what could be changed what could be the same how you loved it overall and maybe talk about some of the marbles if you want to as well um I would give it like a probably a seven out of ten because interesting, I, interesting. I think it was it was good for a new event and it like it wasn't space themed, which I liked because there was a lot of space this season. Um, but I just I I don't like how it, it's like the third marble to cross the line. For some reason, I just I don't know why, but that. I'm not a fan of that. How else to oh, score right. it? I don't know. But I th think they can come up with something better than that. And wait, wait, let's just delve into that structure a little bit. I just want to remember how it got got where is it was just it was just the third marble's time. Yeah. Pretty much versus the other third marble's time. That yeah. was that was the one. I think the reason oh, the I don't f first to get three marbles across. So technically mm -hmm. it'd be the third marble's time because it was be the slowest, I guess. Right. Yeah, Sorry, I cut you off, S man. So finish what you were gonna say. <laughs> no, I I don't think you did. All right. Nothing yeah, finished. but um, I I can I can see that. I mean, would you? Is there something you'd rather see or or what? I'm not sure. You just want something different. Yeah. Um, and I get that, because like the third marble thing has been used a lot when it's like, okay, we have a team event, but we don't know what the frick to do, so let's just do that. Um, cause I mean, it's sensible. Like, you know, if you make it the fourth marble, then it's kind of like un unfair. Cause you could have three marbles in the lead and then one way in the back, way in the back. But I mean, um, and like, and like Greg Wood said in like one of the events, you can burn a marble here or something. Um, uh, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like this, for me, this event, this event was a, like a five out of 10. It's a four out of 10. I hated it. I, I, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. I didn't. It was lazy. I was expecting more. I was expecting maybe like a, a water event that actually had substantial obstacles or length. It was just five meter sprint and then five meter water sprint or something. And it, ugh, I just didn't like it. Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't get into it it was it was kind of just bland i mean like we already had hurdles we already had five meter relay we already had five meter sprint this is just five meter sprint get tack on underwater race on the end and call it an event I, I don't know man the two the new events this year not i'm not i'm not i'm not buying them we need to get rafting back 
All right, and and and, and you guys wait till we get to the event 16 tonight. I, I'm about to go up. That was that was shit. Right, I love this Marble League overall, as I said before. But that that man, the last event 11. Oh, what is it? What when was when was which one was uh, Black Hole Funnel, S Man? Do you remember? Eleven. Um, I think it was eleven or thirteen. It was eleven, yeah. Okay, so eleven, fourteen, and sixteen were bad this year, in my opinion. Everything else was good. So, yeah, for me, it's like a five out of ten. Four out. Of I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. Actually, I'm gonna go with a four out of ten. Um, I'd love to hear what Waff would say about that. Maybe maybe we'll do a quick segment next time. We'll ask Waff what his uh, ratings would be, but. Yeah, dude. Um, so yeah, dude. Reactions to it. What do you think about some of the finishers? Oceanics, right? Um, sixth place. They actually did good. I know. And do you think? Um, do you think that it is time to remove the Oceanics um, from their name finally? I think so. Cause I mean, they they got back to where they usually see them. You usually see them. You know. Yeah, they were never a top three team, but they were like no. a top half team, you know? It's like, I don't know, I don't know if you saw, but on my Marble Sports blog page on Instagram, what, I... Plug that real quick. What is it? Marble.sports.blog? That's what it is. <laughs> Marble.sports.blog, everybody. And there's also Marble.sports.marble.league.fax. Marble.sports.fax. Or Marble.sports.fax. Instagram, so what you can get the blog part where he just talks too much, and then you can get the facts part where he just gives you the facts. So whatever makes you happy, go follow those Instagrams. If you do it, do it, please, because um, S man's S man's doing a great job over there with the page. I, I think it's a, I think it's one of the better Marble Sports uh, social medias overall. Um, uh, better than the one, better than the Marble League news one that just literally posts what you can find on the wiki. That's just that's just lazy. I don't like that page. Um, really that's be, you're, you're lazy. You're lazy. If you do that, if you just post the, if you just screenshot the results and post them and call it news, that's lazy. Um, shame on you. Um, I don't really look at that page too much, but if they actually post analysis, then, then it's a different story. But, um, yeah, if you just, if you just take, if you just screenshot what happened in the event and you just put it up there in social media, like, Oh my God, I'm going to call my cha my, my page marble news worldwide chat then you're lazy and, and bad, okay? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I, Oceanics. I agree. Oce Oceanics role is gone, in my opinion. On the podcast, there is no more Oceanics um, as of now because they uh, not only golded and silvered and many medaled in many events this year, but they showed that in the water event, um, they're not going to be last place anymore. And in fact, getting sixth overall in that water event with a decent time, um, they are not a team to mess around with anymore. So... Uh, gone is the Oceanics from this podcast. We will not uh, address them in that way seriously um, until they uh, mess up again, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, they, they they have redeemed themselves in my eyes as far as that is concerned. So, yeah, that's over. It's over. And in general, um, that was a good event for the Savage Beaters, getting second place, right? Um, uh, and a tough event for the O-Rangers. I mean, what did you think about the O-Rangers there, Espan, getting 11th place? A very a big struggle for them underwater, I think. Um, and, and not as not as much struggle on the track, yeah. but when they got into the water, it was just a slow Here, time. But before we get into that, I just want to finish what I was saying about the Oceanics. Go ahead. I said in my blog that it they usually place around the double digits of the final standings, and that I and I basically said that it was 2018 that was their fluke year and not 2019. You Wait, for the Oceanics? Yeah. Wait, because they did well in 2018, right? They get, That was the year they got third. Wait. Okay, wait, but, but you just, wait, you're saying that's a fluke year, though. Yeah, like, uh, but... Because they did well I mean. this year well, though. They did, they did pretty well this year. This year they got, still... they got um like tenth I thought. Did they? Wow. Wait, let me check that. Yeah, they got tenth. Oceanics ended. Oh crap! Let me look this up. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, they did get tenth. So not. Yeah, I guess you could argue that 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 was a fluke year. I mean, like, you think that's all they got? It like was... that that's they're not gonna do that ever again? Or it was the only year that they. 
placed in the single digits of the final really? standings. It's a shame. I thought they were better than that, at least at the beginning. Like in the first couple of years? or yeah. No. They, they're not that good of a team. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, at least they're not Oceanics anymore, I guess. That's the way I see it. I mean, I, at least they're not Oceanics. Yeah. Okay, at least they're not Oceanics. And, and, and I, I don't know. I mean, listen, I, I guess it was, they're not, they didn't get last in every event this year, so we can get, we can kind of, I mean, they, they medaled a lot this year for a team finishing in 10th place, but then again, Mellow Yellow got three medals and finished, like, last or something, so, or, like, um, um, they like, got uh, third to last. Which is why they're not going to qualify next year. It's a shame. No, I think they will, but we'll talk about that later. Um, anyway, anyway. Uh, if you have nothing, do you have anything more on event 14? You want to address the orange, uh, the orangers real quick, their performance, what you think about that? Um, uh, and then we can go I on mean, to the next event. They lost to the oceanics in a water event. So that's pretty embarrassing. I mean, the oceanics did well though. So we have to give them that, oh. um, we have to give them that, uh, credit. I mean, they did go head to head against the, uh, the oceanics. And I think, well, I think what happened is the oceanics was just like, listen, we got to at least push out one win here. Are we going to be back to the oceanics? We don't want to be there. Uh, I know because they had to verse the midnight wisps yet next. And the midnight wisps are also on fire this, this year. But I mean, Hey, listen, it was a close race. And honestly, the oceanics deserve that. So you got to give them credit what credit is due. I mean, the oceanics beat the Rangers. That should be the impressive thing here. Okay. Yeah. That that really strips that that title, uh, previous title off. So, for me, it does anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think the I think the Rangers just slacked off towards the end of this Marble League, and they paid for it. And they pay for it. Um, anyway, uh, event fifteen, event fifteen. Oh, I got a problem with this one. I got a problem with this. Believe it or not, on collision, I have a problem. But you know what, Esman, once you start us off, rating thoughts. Go ahead. Um, I'd have to give it probably an 8 out of 10. I've always liked the collision. Um, I feel like they really improved on it since the start, adding like the ball bearings in that and not having the fidget spinners. So I, I, there's definitely room for improvement, but it's, I really like it. It's good. It's interesting, and and you were you were um, a big fan of the, the Gravitrax design and all the extra ball bearings and the, the crazy contraptions like Rube Goldberg machines to set them off. Um, yes, I was. Interesting, interesting, interesting on that. Uh, really interesting on that. Um, I mean, for me, Collision in general usually is a 10 out of 10 for me this is this is the most creative event in the marble league this is the, the most chaotic event in the marble league i'm still going to reference uh episode 10 all right Kason, i know you're out there with the bingo board if referencing referencing episode 10 is on that freaking board that cross the shit off okay reference episode 10 chaos theory the first time we brought it up for in, in marble sports and we talked about collision and we talked about dirt racing or whatever it was uh the event was yeah, so the the I, collision's always been a ten out of ten because it really brought the chaos into marble sports, and chaos is what brings excitement in marble sports. That's why um, collision is such a popular event. Um, but it's not a ten out of ten for me this year. It's an eight point five out of ten, and I know that's still a high rating. It's higher than S Man still. All right, sorry S Man, but it's still higher. Um, but it's one and a half points lower than before. And I, and a lot of people are going to probably wonder, well, well why? Because, you know, most people think this collision is better, but I did not like the additions to this year's collision. First of all, uh, and these are small things, of course. And like, I mean, who am I to really say anything about it? But I mean, like, th- these are small things, but these are, these are still things that I thought about it. First of all, the Gravitrax design around the collision took away some of the visual appeal of it because it looks messy and you have this nice clean collision arena and then you have this like weird gravitrax hexagon thing with like 15 different colors just around the, no that was not fun to look at um number two i mean what they could have done well maybe actually incorporate the color of the host team and put a little purple mat under there that would have made it cool a nice dark purple on that nice white arena that would have been fire I mean, come on, guys. That's that's just simple theming. That would have been cool. 
Um, number one, um, S Man. By the way, I heard you do a little sigh there. Are you having a problem with that right there? What? Did you have? Did you not like that? Do you like the Gravitrax design underneath? I thought I thought you had a little bit of a reaction to that. Uh, no, not really. I mean, it makes sense to not like it. <laughs> there you go. Um, I just personally did like it. So interesting, interesting. Um, anyway, so that's the one thing. Number two is I don't like the whole Rube Goldberg thing. I don't like that. Where like. You, the marble hits down the dominoes, goes all the way around the fucking arena, and then and then it, it makes a barbell fall out on the other side. I mean, I no, nah, really? that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous in my opinion. I think I think it um, added more suspense to it. You know, I think it took away from the simplicity and just clear cutted chaos of the event. Uh, CCC, um, because, well, I mean. It was just messy. It looks messy on the outside. It looks like there's more going on but outside did it of the not arena. Add more suspense to it, because like a marble I mean, is coming across its path. Is it gonna get there in time to knock it out of there? I mean, I guess, but it would. But it's because they put the uh, the uh, kaleidoscope of, of of colors around around the uh, stage on the outside, it was really hard to see w- where the contraptions were even going to lead. First of all, and I just think that I think that. It's making collision more luck based than it already is because it's like, okay, you hit this domino and oh yeah, so just three minutes later, keep a lookout for that marble on the other on the other corner, because that might come out and hit you. And that kind of while it does in a sense increase a little bit of spence and chaos, I'm not going to lie. It also takes away from the skill of it. It really does. And because like now it's like, you know, because like before there actually could be some skill to bumping into ball bearing things to make the ball bearings come down to try to hit other teammates and and in simplicity to like where they were located. But now it's like this like haphazard kind of, you know, marbles are flipped on everywhere. And and I like the different sizes of ball bearings. I thought that added a lot. And I talked about that last year with Collision, but I did not like the kind of the Rube Goldberg kind of like, um, you know, you know, flipping all over. I didn't, I didn't like that. Um, and, and, and S man, I, I know that you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you can give me, give us a reason why that would be better than before. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I mean, I said, maybe you can give us a reason why, um, all this extra contraption outside would be a better thing than, um, than just having a simple, simple layout. I mean, have I not already? It adds more it's suspense kinda... to it. That that's all. That's what you think about it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. I mean, there's not. It, it, I don't know. I don't know why it's a big thing for me. It shouldn't be a big thing, right? I mean, uh, but it. I don't know. It's what I think about it. So I think that. Um, I probably Waff would like it too. I don't know. I feel like Waff. I feel like Waff just likes whatever I don't like. So we'll see what he says um, next time. But yeah, like I don't know. I don't freaking know. I just think it's just too much. It's too much. It was. It was. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, don't fix it. And and I think it fixed it. But if it ain't um, broke, you can make it better. But I yeah. I don't, <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> someone write that down. Don't write. Don't. That's not a write that down, Mister Waff. That's just a someone remember that um uh actually someone write that write that down mr waff case you're gonna be mr waff tonight you write that down write that quote down and give it to waff all right whatever he just said if it, if it ain't broke well you can make it better or something like that um write that down and give it to waff and he can put it in the little write that down mr waff book that we have if it ain't um, broke you can make it better yeah that's that's it's it's true but i mean i don't know i just think it made it worse um Anyway, to onto the results. Savage Beaters, this was their moment, and they they took it. And I'm telling you, I, I told you guys from event 13, you think the Savage Beaters are gonna lay down and die just because the Rangers are having a good year? You're out of your mind. And what did we see? What did we see? Okay, O Rangers didn't even make it to the quarterfinals. Yeah. Okay, they didn't even make it there. Savage Beaters not. were like quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. Thunderbolts, really? Savage Beaters against the Thunderbolts? We knew who was going to win that. All right. That's what I have to think about that. Savage Beaters did exactly what they needed to do. They don't choke under pressure. 
And uh, they saw have the uh, Thunder... Rangers fail, and they capitalized on it. Oh, they needed to. They need, and they did. Yeah. And the Rangers got 16th place, 16th place. They could have got anywhere. They could have just at least been like 10th place. No, 16th. And that, and that was the difference. That put the Savage Beaters ahead five points, and that gave them that Savage Beaters that wide berth of error in the final race. Um, to which uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, another thing I want to mention is the Thunderbolts, who are the only team to keep all five marbles on in uh, in one roll. Uh, in the semifinals against the Hazers, they kept all five marbles on. So that was really good. Um, they Thunderbolts, I mean, usually you don't notice them. But, I mean, hey, they, not bad. Not bad. Not a bad performance, at least in collision. Um, I think their year is coming, but it's not going to be for a few. Okay? Um. Anyways, uh, uh, S-Man, now is a great time to mention something that you uh, you uh, love to say. S-Man, this is, this is way off topic, by the way. S-Man had the bright idea of saying that his prediction for the 2021 Marble League winners <laughs> is the Limers. How do you feel about that right now, buddy? Yeah, that's, uh, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 what do you know? It's not. I mean, <laughs> I, I love that you had hope. I love that you were giving me hope. But it's not <laughs> happening, buddy. It's not happening. I, and I don't. I don't no, it is I, not. I am on the edge of jumping into that rant, but we're gonna we're gonna hold that one off <laughs> for a second, because ah, oh, I hate the line. For those of I, you I not in the Discord, I said that multiple times leading up to the showdown. Is that the end of the sentence? Yeah, it is. Oh, did I miss the <laughs> sentence? Oh, sorry. I thought I thought it was I thought it was like a beginning. Sorry, I must have missed a word. Um. Anyway, yeah, yeah. That, 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 anyway, let's not worry about the Limers. Uh, Mellow Yellow still last after Event 15, um, by the way. Uh, Mellow Yellow got eighth in that, and Mellow Yellow sucks this year. And um, as I put, in the com- I put in the comments on the last event, I said, Mellow Yellow, you need to go practice more. I said that. So if anyone saw that comment, it's mine. All right, anyways, um, final event here um, for us to talk about, and then we'll go to the trivia segment. What are we at right now? We're about 30 minutes, and then we'll go to trivia. Uh, Marble League event uh, 2020, event 16, uh, Marble Marathon. S-Man, rate. I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. Ooh, getting decimalistic. Because, as many people think, it wasn't a good finale to the season because the Savage Speeders and the O-Rangers weren't in it at all. But Let's I'm just say, still... yes, man, if you're giving it a 6.5, you know what I'm going to be giving it, and I'm going to be saying a lot about it. Anyway, continue. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is still worth more because it actually gave the Midnight Wisps a chance. Um, okay. The first two-thirds of the race, I was starting to think that the Midnight Wisps were going to be the champions. Because they were doing that good. That would have been insane, man. And the man. Speeders oh, and the Arrangers man. were doing awful. Yeah. So that's thought, why I'm giving it the yeah. score. What's your score, Brendan? Ooh. Damn, this is hard because it's... it's. Let me just say that this is awful. This is easily the worst end to a Marble League ever. I, I, I never want to see it again. And I hope that there's enough people in the marvel sports community to give some sort of hate i won't be the one to give hate because i'm not gonna go listen listen maybe maybe i'll send a message to malicus like listen dude can i help you guys fix this for, for next time but uh yeah this is awful um i and like i said remember 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 the disclaimer i made at the beginning of this segment um or the beginning of the 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 after the news thing i said overall great marble league love it wouldn't wouldn't trade it for anything awesome i love it 10 out of 10 all right. Remember what I said about the overall. This event was awful because not only was it just just Marbula One again, and I don't want to see any more Marbula One. I, I'm I don't want to see any of that anymore. Honestly, right now, okay. Not only was it just, is Marbula One again, and the track wasn't bad actually, but it, not, just Marbula One again. It was a replacement for something so much better, and that is the San Marble Rally. And the San Marble Rally is, is, is amazing. It's a great series. It, it, it is, like, awesome, all right? Uh, and it's a great end event 
to this because it gets the marbles outside it's a different terrain it's a way different racing style and it, it's a perfect end to a marble league it's, it feels like a marathon because they're not just going in circles or squares or whatever that is a great ending and so that ending for me is a 9 out of 10 but this ending for me is a 2 out of 10 it's still going to not be a 1 out of 10 because black hole final is, is crap and that's a 1 out of 10 but this is a 2 out of 10 because this is terrible. I, and I, I never want to see that again. Uh, obviously, who am I to tell them how to make their thing? I, I'm, not, I'm nobody. So I don't deserve to tell them how to make the Marble League. They always do a great job. Remember, 10 out of 10 overall. But this event was, was a problem for me, okay? This, this was not good. Um, this was a, this is an underwhelming end. And while I agree, it's nice that the Midnight Wisps gave that suspenseful ending. Like, oh my god, are they going to actually get enough points and, and win? Because the Rangers and Savage Beaters were going to um, to lose. Um, yes, it's great, but just the event itself is a no for me. It's a no for me. Your time is done in the Marble Chef Kitchen. Uh, someone get that? Anyone get that reference, by the way? Someone's got to get that reference. All right. Um, anyway, uh uh s-man you want to speak to any of the performances of the marbles here uh no not really i do want your opinion <laughs> on how the minty maniacs did though i don't really want to talk about the mini maniacs um i don't see that's my that's my big upset of this year um is the fact that the mini maniacs are the auto qualify and we're gonna, gonna have to see <laughs> i don't i don't like them i don't like them at all they they are yeah, I don't said that I hate that team I hate them I want them to just wanting I want them to get chips all right I mean uh, that's rude sorry sorry mini maniacs but I don't like them I do not like that team at all all right I don't I don't like them at all okay at all there is no redeeming quality for me about this team it's a bad team. I don't like them. I will never like them. I have no reason to not like them. Well, I do because they're from Hubelino, and Hubelino is crap, and they should not be allowed in the Marble League. All right. Well, Hubelino is good, but Hubelino should stay Hubelino, and Hubelino should be over there with the Blue Fastics and the Valian Violets. All right. That sounds like those sound like team names from channels that are still working on making Marble Sports. Okay. Um, blue Fastics. What is a Blue Fastic? Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm being hard on them there, um, but okay. I just am not a big fan of that team. And I mean, they did well, I guess. Yay. But I think that next year, it's not happening again. They're not going to be a two-time all-star team. They're not going to be that. They're not that kind of team. All right? Um, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I, I all I can say is I think for Mini Maniacs fans, this is it, all right? So don't expect anything more. Be happy you got the third place and just shut up, okay? And you're not going to expect – don't expect more because you're not getting more, all right? You're getting this, you're getting this year, and that's it, okay? Good. Uh, Miss Man, uh, is that what you wanted to hear? Is that uh, – are you a Mini Maniacs fan? Do you like them? Like, what are your thoughts on them? I'm indifferent to them. They're fine. Do I like them? Okay. No. Do I hate them? No. I just tolerate them. <laughs> Just there. That's kind of me and the Thunderbolts. I don't care. I don't. I literally feel zero about the Thunderbolts. I don't. I don't even. Like I don't. If they do well, great. If they do bad, whatever. I mean, that's your your problem. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, me, maniac, mellow yellow for the first. Yeah, mellow. Great timing, mellow yellow. Great timing. Now, now we pick it up. This is probably the hardest event to do well in. By the way. Based on the based on the the style, this is the Marbula One style. Now, but now Mellow Yellow decides this is a great time to pick up the pick up the pace. Great job, Mellow Yellow. Crazy Cat Size again. Um, I'm happy about their performance getting third. Um, Crazy Cat Size are always that kind of team though. They're always like just behind the uh, the, the top three, and that's kind of where they stayed. They ended fifth overall. Um, and uh, well, there you have it. Uh, the, the, that's the Marble League. I, I those are my thoughts on the events, and I, I just think overall it was a great Marble League, but there was a couple event issues, and I think that it was a wild Marble League. Let's be honest. And we're gonna get we're gonna have a re discussion next week. So if you want more of reactions to this, you're gonna get it again next week when we have Waff back on, and MFA is coming on. He's half hosting, so you can have all of that. You know MFA. 
you know me and MFA, some just just because of this, the way the stars are aligned, we never seem to agree on this, anything. And Waff is just always has a gr- great opinion. So this is all come. We're all we're circling back, and we're going to tack this again next week. So don't don't worry if you're missing anything. Um, and, but that is that is my thoughts. Uh, again, Savage Beaters, big surprise, but hey, don't be surprised in the end. Okay, don't be surprised. All right, they they are what they are. They are that, and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna come back, and they don't even rule them out until the last event. Okay. Anyway, what's gonna go to the trivia segment, everybody? So, um, for the editor who has to edit this beautiful podcast, please go ahead and don't play the music. Not yet. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this annoying. Um. Oh. Um. Because Waff's not here, I have to actually write down the timestamps here for the. Oh Jesus. Uh, I have to write the timestamps down here for the for the for the trivia. That's we're gonna do this. I'm gonna tell you guys how this works because he has to then edit it in with the timestamps and all that shit. So imagine yeah, we're gonna we're gonna to I'm gonna go that. ahead and that would um, be bad. Yeah, imagine I forgot to do that. Then you have to listen to the whole show. God forbid. Um. All right. So what are we at about? Um. We're at about say about 38, 38 minutes in. So there you go. Boom. Like we're going to the. I just hit my mic. We'll go into the trivia, guys. Play the music. 3-2-1, go Rangers. 3-2-1, go Oceanics. 3-2-1, no Limers. Uh, let's play the music, and we'll see you in the trivia segment. Now it's time for the trivia segment. Come on now, let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. The, uh, okay. Thanks, th- thanks, S-Man. The music is played. <laughs> S-Man, give you a rendition of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> it's... Let's do it together. It's time for the, for the tri- trivia segment. Come segment. On Come go, on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go, go. go. No, he right. goes Anyways. low. Oh, he goes one. low for this one, but then he goes show. He goes high for the, the show. Uh, oh, whatever. Oh. We get the idea anyway. We're in the trivia segment, guys. Um, this is a segment that we do now uh, just to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, we've done it for a long time. Um but it was when Waff made the music that it really became a nice old segment. So technically, I made the music, but whatever. It's when it's when S Man made the music. Shout out to S Man, by the way, who's guessing on the. I in, I inspired it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um. Anyways, so we're gonna have some, we're gonna go through some questions. We're gonna we're gonna jump with some questions here. Um, we got two trivia questions submitted to me by the fans. All right, and we got one from S Man, hopefully. So um, I think we're gonna start with uh, S Man. Do you have one, by the way? I, I do. Because, because S, because let me let me tell you something about S Man, everybody. S Man is the guy who usually sends me a trivia. Well, he or Akinon is usually the guy that sends me the trivia question every 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 episode. Because I'm like, hey, I don't have a trivia question, and because I, even though I'm the one who came up with the idea for the segment, because I had one one episode. Now you guys have to do the work. <laughs> <laughs> why i did that i don't know um so they send me them they're, they're great fans and actually I'm, I'm really happy that i i got lazy because it gives an opportunity for fans to interact with us and give us their segment and, and if you if you email me trivia questions at mswpodcast at gmail.com that's mswpodcast at gmail.com um you can also um send me a trivia question and i will read it on the air for um whoever um is there as well so Anyways, um, Esmen, why don't you start us off with your question, and then I'll read the two submitted by uh, respective fans. All right, here we go. So, my question is, how many Marble League teams have never, like, advanced through qualifiers? <sighs> um... I mean, I mean, you know the answer, of course, so I guess this is just left on me. Um, yes, it is. I mean, it's Marvel guy right here. I'm supposed to be the Marvel sports connoisseur. Let's think through this together, guys. Let's think through this together. Are they? Are they a, do retired team count? No, re- no teams that are still active. So st- still active teams. Yes. That's hard. That's hard. I think I'm gonna go with two. I'm gonna go with two, and I'm gonna go with Turtle Sliders is definitely one. And then I think uh, is there one more? I feel like Cobalt or like Shining Swarm is one more, but they feel like they played a year. So I'm gonna go with I'm you know what I'm gonna stick with what I know. I'm gonna go with one. I'm gonna go with a uh, Turtle Sliders. You tell me what you tell me what it is. The answer is actually four. 
What? No, the what, name the sliders, teams. The Turtle Siders. The Cobalts. They have never? The Rojo Rollers. No, the, wait. Oh, because 2016 didn't have a qualifier. Exactly. No, fuck. And the last team is actually... Do we censor that, by the way? I don't know if we do that. <laughs> is actually the Snowballs. Even what? Yep, because in 2016 there was no qualifiers. And then 2018... They pre-qualified they were, the... they were the hosts. Tricky, you tricky son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> that is that is great. That is a great piece of trivia. Like, everybody put that on your wall, okay? That is great. I love that. Snowballs. Um, Snowballs. Balls of flame. <laughs> Someone's saying in the in the chat, balls of flame. Listen, here's what I think about the ball, balls of flame. Um, I know that's a joke. Because that's... A, okay, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, there was a fan team competition last year, and one of the teams that entered was balls of flame, and that became a joke. Um, like balls of flame, uh, balls of flame, check them or what? I don't, I don't know because balls, right? Balls is funny, man. Um, but I actually like that team name, and I want this. If that team comes enters again, I'm gonna vote for them. Um, in the next fan team competition because we need another balls of team. Balls we only have one team. balls of team. We have a balls of chaos, and that's it. And I really like balls of teams, but we don't have any. I don't. I don't. I, I, I don't like we don't have any more. I like that. I want a balls of flame. Or something, maybe balls of something, just, just something there, some some new balls of team. Who um, and I actually, f- who would you vote for, balls of flame or X camo? X camo's crap. Um, that is, I realize <laughs> every time, every time I've said the name X camo after the fan team competition, I've hated the name more than more. I've realized how stupid it is. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me anymore. Like it made sense in the moment, and the logo looks good, by the way. Let. The, objectively, that logo is well made. Um, Dark Archon made it. Shout out to him if he ever listens to this. Um, but I don't like the team anymore. I don't like them. Uh, I don't like that. And I like camo marbles, but the camo marbles didn't even look that camo anyway. So it was just kind of like, it was like a pipe dream, I guess. So, um, I mean, I would say I'm, if we do another fan team competition, what we, me as the podcast and like hopefully to you guys will also all vote for me in, in the team thing. Um, you don't have to, but you should. I'm gonna come, we're gonna come up with a balls of name. It's gonna be a balls of something because I want another balls of team in there because I just it just it's cool. Like, there's not enough of that balls of chaos, balls of something. We gotta come up with something, right? Um, anyways, that that's gonna be um, that's gonna be enough of that. So uh, I'll read our questions, S man. So S man, we're gonna pick your mind trivia wise. You are the ML Facts Instagram holder currently, so you should know the answer to these questions. Let's see. Right. Are you ready, Mister S man? I am ready. All right. Are you are you sure you're ready? I think so. Are you ready to roll? Sure. Okay. Good. Let's go for it. Good. Hit I'm going for it. it. I'm going for. It. I'm not even gonna wait. I'm not even gonna wait. I'm not even gonna wait. All right. In Mar- uh, so this is submitted by Akanon, who uh, has listened to this podcast longer than I've been making it. Um, <laughs> he really has. Yup. Because that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, but it feels like it. Um, here we go. In Marble League 2016, in event one balancing, only two individual marbles were able to finish the course. Who were they? Uh, honestly, that's such a difficult question. I'd be 100% okay if you can name the two teams that had those two individual marbles. Oh. I you should be one, able to get one team. At least, I, think at least one of them was, I don't know the answer yet. I think one of them was Rojo Dose of the Rojo Rollers. But I have no idea okay. who the other one would be. Ooh. You got to throw a guess out there. Come on, there's only 12 teams back then, so. Yeah, but no, one there were chance. 16. No, it was 12. There oh, 12 events, 16, mate. 12 events, 16 teams. <laughs> Someone just messaged me. He's new to the show. Marvels have names. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That for people who are new to the marble thing, yeah, they, they they've gone far enough that there's like Rojo Rollers and there's Rojo Uno Dose Tray, and there's my. I guess my favorite is when they do like like the one team Raspberry Racers, and then they do the name type of Rizzy Razzy Ruzzy Ruzzy. That's always funny to me. Oh, Rangers no, are like Kinnowin Clementon. You get my the idea. favorite is my favorite is Team Primaries, Prim Rima Imar and Mary. Oh, they take the na- the name and yeah, they do that too. There's a couple other teams they do that with. I forget the ones. Um, uh, how do they know which is which? Fan submitted question right now. We will talk about that. I will address that in a moment. Um, 
Actually, I'm not going to address that because that's a question I don't know the answer to. So I'm not going to address that. That's we by addressing know. it. I don't know. <laughs> that's them. That's not my problem. That's their problem. And we're going to let them have that uh, time together and to figure that out, how they can tell those apart. Maybe they mark them or something. Maybe they, it's like they, counting they, they cards or something. Know. Yeah. A lot of people think they don't know. A lot of people think they do, though. You can debate that on the huge Marble Sports uh, Reddit page. Anyways, um, you at least put a guess out for the last one. I'm going to go with the Thunderbolts. First team that came Thunderbolts. to mind. All right. Well, let's see, what you, let's see if you at least got the two teams right. The answer is... Oh, I didn't guess because I actually don't know the answer. Um, so I'll go, I'd go. i definitely go Rojo Rollers too, and I'd go Rojo... Uh, I'll, I'll go like Rojo Trace. Um, I'll go Rojo Uno. I'll go Rojo Uno, actually. Um, no, I'll go Rojo Trace. Rojo Trace. Rojo Trace. We'll go Rojo Trace. Um, and then... I'm going to say Savage Beaters and Speedy. So let's see what we got here. Wow. So first of all, S-Man, you were right. It's Rojo Doge from the Rojo Rollers, not Rojo Trace. So good job on that. Um, You got that one right. But you definitely didn't get Cerulean from the Cobalts. Wow. I never would have got that. Never would have guessed that. That's a tough one. No, that, that, that. Forgot the Cobalts even knew how to race and do events like they suck by the way did they even did they qualify for the showdown i forget they did yeah they did qualify okay so we're gonna get to see the cobalt in the qualifier the showdown all right anyway <laughs> all right they won the showdown damn it yes, i really don't care about the showdown i guess um <laughs> wow um i knew they did well i was like uh, but I usually imagine them as like a, in the middle team anyway um yeah so that's that question then we got another one from ants onita um ansonita is that like a pseudonym for something is that like ansonita is that like supposed to be like a oh, pun or something Onida, not onita ants onita like a onita am i missing this is, is this a joke but i'm missing it ansonita ansonita <laughs> is it i feel like that's a word but i don't know i'm not getting Onida. the joke or something ansonita i have no idea is this a am i missing the joke here Oneida County is where you live. Okay, so you're just ants, and then also you live there. Okay. All right, let's see. So his question is, is what was the name of the stadium that hosted last marble standing, and which team hosted it? Good question. That, um, that is a good question, only because no one cares about last marble standing, so everyone's going to forget the answer. That's why, okay? Anyway, go ahead, Esmond. I actually know it. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll give a guess, I'm, too. I know, like I know that it was... I'm 99% sure I'm correct. I don't know the answer to this one yet either because he didn't even provide the answer. Um, I know it was the Craven Dome. It was the Craven Dome. Um, all right. And then the team that hosted it, if you know, I'll at least give a guess. I th- think it was um, – oh, crap. Oh. Can I give a guess out there? I think Grey's a Glory. I'll go Grey's a Glory. Anyway, what is it, this man? I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's Dairy Dash. Ansonitis is Craven Dome and the Freshers. Craven Dome and the Freshers, so Really? I guess not, not correct. Um balls of Craven. Anyways, that's uh that was I a good question. Yeah, I couldn't remember the Dairy host. Dairy Dash was the host. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's our trivia segment. How do we? St- how are we still coming up with trivia questions about this? We somehow we are. So, um, good job, everybody who comes up with trivia questions and sends me them. That's that's a good thing. That's a kind thing for you to do, and keep this oh, segment going. Ac- according to the Last Marble Standing Wiki, it was Team Purity that was the hosts. Really, Team Purity? I was actually a big Team Purity fan. So I don't know. Yeah, oh, they might. Okay. They probably like messed that up like three different times and said three different three different answers because I feel like feel yeah, like really. they didn't give a shit about that series either. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I just feel like they didn't. <laughs> I feel like they were like, okay, we're gonna give you these events, and then you in the Craven Dome world, you guys do the editing. Okay, <laughs> that's what it looked like. <laughs> um, it said in JMR Wiki the Freshers. Well, maybe they changed it because they got it wrong. I don't know. Anyway, it's the Freshers or Team Purity. Honestly. If you care, comment below. I know I'm going to get no comments because I know nobody cares. So, um, we're going <laughs> to... Um, I don't know. The Craven Cup, the Craven Dale Cup was actually not that bad. It was it, it was better than 
that is better to me than like 12 races of Marbula E. So I'll take, I'll take it. Um, Anyway, let's get back to the the regular episode. We are uh, we are in danger of ending here, so we need to quickly uh, cover the showdown here. Uh, so are we going to play the music that brings us back in three, two, one, one, one? Play. I'm not even going to waste your time. That was the trivia segment. Now let's head back to the show, 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 the show. Oh, all right, we're back. This is this is we are here. The, the music played. They found the editor did his thing and but it but show 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 or whatever Waff says. Um <clears throat> Hear that, Kason? You better have done a good job. Yeah, hear that? Kason? New editor? I mean JM could do it. I might steal your job. You should be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, SM man is the backup <laughs> editor. Um so yeah. Um Yeah. Respect S Man, by the way, on this episode. Um <clears throat> Um, he he is he is a part of keeping this podcast alive. Not as just an editor, by the way. But S man, I gotta be honest, dude. It means a lot to me that you come out every week and listen, or at least most weeks that you can make it. You um you come out every week and and, and you listen uh, in the live episodes, and that means a lot to me. And everybody who continues to do that, by the way, everyone who here right now on the live means a ton to me. Um, but S man's been here since I had the headphone mic. All right, <clears throat> Jesus, I'm coughing a little bit. I'm getting choked up here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's been here for a lot, forever. We're talking last. We're talking a, over a year ago. He's been here. So little fun um, fact here. It was three in three days. So three days from now was the day that me and Waff recorded my first episode. Really? Oh, that was the time I was on vacation, right? And they gave in the little 15-minute clip of uh, I screamed about something about Team Primary or the Snowballs. Um, yeah. And, like, the Limers only got three points and, like, a, a couple of it. So, yeah, I remember that. I remember that episode. I was on vacation, mm-hmm. you know, in Disney. It was fun. Um, but, yeah, that and that was your first episode. And, and you um, and you had been sitting in live beforehand, right? When, when was yes. your first live? Do you remember? Oof. It was, I think it was maybe the first one that Waff was the co-host on. Um, so six? Something or no, like co-host. That. So so ten with Hershey. Ten. That, that might make sense. Yeah, so I think yeah, I think that's when live stuff kind of start. But I think I think live was o- almost always there. But I, I've been listening since the start. No, live wasn't always there. Live started ten. I think live started around ten. Yeah, so I don't know when. Does anyone remember when the first live was? If you're here and you remember when the first live episode I ever did, like whenever, like you could listen live. Um, message me. I want to know. I want to know when the. I don't even remember. Like it, it was. I, I know idea. it was in episode six because I remember that episode I recorded first time with Waff. I was headphone mic downstairs in my in my in this uh, room with, at a, like a round table or something, and I did it there. And, and I know, and I definitely the Melicus one episode eleven was live because people million people there for that one. So I don't know somewhere between so, there. According to the pins in the live MSWP channel. The first message was sent on July 29th, 2019. So that was probably like 11 Oh, or yeah. What I tell people what this is for. Yeah. So this, so this would be probably, yeah, probably about episode 10. Probably about episode 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, um, no, yeah. The, so you've been here forever. I, I I don't know what keeps you coming back, but uh, you keep coming. Um. Anyways, um, we can end our discussion here. We, we only have about five minutes, um. But I do want to hear some takes on uh the showdown. We're gonna do more showdown talk next week for people who are like, oh my god, only five minutes for the amazing marble showdown that uses the black hole funnel event. No, we're gonna we're gonna get into it next week. Next week. Um. <clears throat> so. Uh, but I want to hear first opinions, uh, S Man. Um, you go first, and then I'll scream about the team I'm about to scream about. The Jungle Jumpers did good. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. No, yeah, <laughs> nice. They got robbed um, in the qualifiers. No matter what anyone else says, we all know it. Momo deserved their spot, though. I'm glad they made it through in the qualifiers. And Jungle Jumpers, man, 
I mean, I mean, listen, all I can say about the Jungle Jumpers is they came out very strong in the showdown. They were not fucking around. So, I mean, no, they, yeah, they deserve their, they, they're ready. They're ready. Okay. They're ready. To, I think they're going to do well. They're going to qualify for next year's Marvel League. I'm going to put it out there. They will. They better. I'm going to be so sad. They will. If they don't. They will. I don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to say they They will. What what they do when they get into the Marble League, that's beyond my understanding. But they will qualify. I believe they will. Um, I think they will too. So, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a year for a good year. The gold numbers. They were just so strong on the showdown. They uh, what was the first? I can't remember what the first event was. Um, oh, what was the first showdown event? Let me look. Uh, it was uh, the real. Oh, relay were yeah. They were yeah. That that was the one they were like super good. And I was like, wow, jungle jumpers coming out super strong in relay. Um, uh, half pipe as well pretty good performance um uh black hole funnel that's just a crappy event um and and i think yeah, next the, week we'll the, talk the more about what we think don't about do the events, well with but... funnels apparently who the jungle jumpers yeah yeah but I, I just feel like black hole funnel was so luck based and so like not well done that like i mean you can, you got to cut the jungle jumper some slack there right i mean mm-hmm. hey what what is that what what is the black hole fun? That it's not even black. I. <laughs> <laughs> in any event, um, no, I'm I'm very happy about the jungle jumpers. I'm not a big jungle jumpers fan. Sorry to say, yes, man. Um, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think that they just did a great job, and, and I'm glad to see that. Um, someone just came into my room to the podcast. Anyone see on the camera? Someone come into my room. Um, I just forgot that I'm on camera. So someone just came in and I had to tell him to go away. You see that? Anyone who saw on the camera, that's a little Easter egg for you. Anyone who watches the YouTube, give that a little Easter egg. Yeah, because they just came in right there. And I just was like, hey, get out of here. I'm, I'm talking about marbles. <laughs> All right. And that was my mom. You know why my mom, I'll tell you why my mom came in. Uh, I'll tell you why. Not because she wanted to hear about the Limers and how they did in the showdown. She didn't give a shit about how the Limers did in the showdown. She is working on something on a computer that uh, she doesn't really understand, and I need to help her with that because it's, <laughs> it's complicated. And so she um, she probably messed something up, and then when this show is over, I'm going to have to go help her unmess something up. So um, that's why that's why that happened. If I said to her right now, hey, hey, Mom, what do you think about the Limer's performance? She'd be like, enough with that silliness, boy. Um, anyway. <laughs> And anyways, uh, and if forever saw that, that was the Easter egg. And that's my mom. All right. Maybe we'll cut that out in the episode. Maybe write someone, write that down for waffle, cut that out or something. I don't know. But, um, the little, there you go. That's my mom. Anyways, um, I, we can wrap up here. Uh, obviously I, I want to scream about the Limers. Um, and I will next week when we talk more about showdown, uh, cause I'm upset. I'm upset, obviously. but I'm going to be mature enough to hold off my anger for one more week, but uh, it's going to come next week, and I'm going to be... I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset. Because... I'm, I'm getting angry already. 28 teams, guys! 28 teams in the Marble League! 28! Only four don't get to compete in the qualifier! Only four teams! I... I don't even want to get started. S man, I don't know. Are you even a Limers fan? Do you even care about the Limers, or, or are you just kind of like happy the Jungle Jumpers did well? I'm just happy the Jungle Jumpers did well. They were the yeah, only team not... I really wanted to make it. I would have been fine if any. That's other kind team of the. <laughs> That's kind of the reception about the Limers mostly, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save that, and we're just gonna end this here before I get upset. <clears throat> And um, that's what we're going to bring this one to an end. So thank you for coming out, guys. If you haven't already, go check out the Marble Sports Worldwide YouTube. We have a bunch of other content on there that you can check out. Go check out marble.sports.facts and marble.sports.blog on Instagram where you can hear all uh, of S-Man's awesome thoughts Marble League-wise. And um, yeah, have 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 a great rest of 2020, guys. Marble League is to an end. And it's a sad time, but it's a it's a happy time for the Savage Beaters. So I mean, bittersweet, right? Um, so if you're a Savage Beater fan, you're probably drinking all night, and then you wake up uh, with that hangover in the morning and realize there's not many more Marvel sports to watch for a while. So 
Uh, there you go. So let's end it out. S-Man, thank you for coming on. It's always nice to get your opinions Marvel sports-wise. <clears throat> and um, uh, I don't know where Waff is, but Waff, hope that moving thing went well. I hope you rolled right into the new apartment all nice and good, whatever. Um, a little bit of pun for you, Waff. And uh, we're going to end this one here. So I'll see you guys later. And the outro music, wherever it comes in, is going to probably start coming in like now in like 3, 2, 1. Or I don't know what I don't know what the editor is going to do. New editor. So maybe we'll put the outro music uh, like a couple hours should after. I do, should I do Waff's signature? I don't know fucking know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Go off. Oh, yeah. S-Man, why don't you do it? Because I Waff's Waff thing. So you do the <laughs> signature ending that he does. That he, that he, I don't – listen. I got to be honest. When Waff's not here, right, he's not listening – I don't. I don't even think it's. I don't like it that much. Okay. I, I think it sounds okay, but it, seems, it sounds kind of corny. I do, but I. I, I like Waff enough, and he likes that outro so much. Like you can hear it. As, he likes it so much. Okay. That is his favorite thing about this show. He loves that outro. Okay. Um. And 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 for anyone who says the outro every time, uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about. He loves it. That is, you can hear in his voice. It's just this, just this joy when saying that. <laughs> so, so we'll get. I'm, I, I, I don't hate it. I just it's not my favorite, and I'm just gonna let him. I, I give him what, give him that because he's been such a amazing guy to me. Um, he's been a great friend and a great host. So, S man, why don't you do the waff and uh, give us the outro, and then we'll get out of here. Roll on, Marble Sports fans. 